How do you boost your metabolism? Step one, drink fit tea. Did you really think I was serious about that? So there are four aspects that affect your metabolism and we're gonna talk about them one by one. But before we do that, give me a like, follow me if you want to, and maybe share the video if you think you've learned something new. We're gonna discuss the least important to the most important. Number one, TEF or thermic effect of food. Now even to digest food, you do need calories. Certain foods require certain amount of calories. Carbohydrates and fats generally require six to eight percent of the energy they're actually gonna give you. For example, if you consume 100 calories of carbohydrates or fats, you probably are gonna be using six to eight calories or six to eight percent of the total calories just to digest the food. Protein, however, can be anything between 20 to 30% of the calories. So in order to digest 100 calories of protein, you're gonna end up using 20 to 30 calories just to digest the protein. So if you include more protein in your diet, you'll end up using more energy just to digest your food, which will boost your metabolism. That's why high protein diets usually work really well for fat loss. The second is BMR or your basal metabolic rate. So just to maintain your body temperature, to keep your heart beating, for you to be able to think, involuntary activities such as digestion, blinking, this requires energy. That is where your BMR or your basal metabolic rate comes into picture. So if you want to increase your BMR, you need to increase the amount of active tissue that your body holds, which is muscle. You're not gonna grow your liver, but you can grow your muscles. And that's why building muscle through strength training actually boosts your metabolism. The third component is exercise. While doing exercise, you're pushing things, you're lifting things, throwing objects, doing whatever. That obviously requires more energy. This is why exercise boosts your metabolism because it, it increases the amount of energy you're putting out into the world just to push things or lift things, etc. But cardio burns more calories than strength training. An hour session of strength training can burn anything between 150 to 300 calories. But an hour of cardio can burn anything from 300 calories upwards of maybe even 800 calories, even 1000 calories. So if you're just trying to increase the number of calories you're burning in a day, I would recommend that you focus more on cardio rather than just weight training. And the last component is NEAT or non-exercise activity thermogenesis. So any activities that you're doing which don't count as exercise because they're not as intense, but do count as just movement, that is NEAT. So if I'm walking from here to the kitchen or to the bathroom, if I'm moving my hands around, this is all NEAT. So the more you move throughout the day, the higher your NEAT. Now the NEAT expenditure can vary massively. That's why some people seem to be burning more calories just because generally they're just moving a lot more. Even when they're sitting, they're not sitting still. They're continuously moving and that's gonna burn more calories. And that's why somebody who's doing a sedentary job versus somebody who's standing and is a teacher and moving around versus somebody who's doing a high labor intensive, high movement job is very different because your non-exercise activity is gonna be increased based on how active your job requirement is. So that's it guys, that's how you boost your metabolism. Stay tuned for the next video. Until then, stay active and stay safe.